special show called The Fix. Today, I'm revealing how to fix your biggest problem areas in no time. From cutting edge plastic surgery to non-surgical alternatives for under $100. Now, this is a show that will make you look younger and feel better. I've got some amazing procedures and incredible new products that you have never seen before. And the first fix is a lunchtime procedure that's going to revolutionize the fight against fat. We're about to freeze someone's fat off live on this stage. Could it be right for you? It sounds like science fiction, but it's now a reality. A revolutionary, non-invasive procedure that's giving liposuction a run for its money by literally freezing away your fat. The inspiration for this cutting edge technology? A research paper from the New England Journal of Medicine written 40 years ago that showed how children who habitually sucked on popsicles developed dimples. The reason? Exposure to constant cold caused loss of fat tissue in their cheeks, a syndrome the researchers called popsicle paniculitis. 40 years later, doctors applied this research to the battle of the bulge, using intense cold to cause fat cells to self-destruct and become reabsorbed into the body. Now, after two years of study, the FDA has cleared this procedure for fat reduction. Could this deep freeze be the ultimate fix for your fat? Dermatologist Dr. Matthew Abram pioneered this new technology and he's here with us. So Dr. Abram, how big of a game changer is this? I mean, it's, it's stunning to me this could even be done. This is really an exciting development. For the first time, we can non-invasively remove fat. No scalpel, no needle, no anesthesia is needed with minimal downtime. And you know, patients now are, are looking for procedures that don't take them from the regular lifestyle. They don't want to take a week off. There is no downtime from uh, work, from social activities, um, or for a family. So this is something that really people are looking for. I think it's a really exciting development. When I first heard about it, I actually confused it with liposuction, which I suspect a lot of folks will, you know, will do as well. What's the big difference between the two? They're actually entirely different. This procedure takes advantage of the fact that the fat in our skin is uniquely sensitive to cold. So by applying cold to the skin, mm -hmm. it creates an inflammation in the skin which causes a death signal in the fat cells, selectively just the fat cells, to turn on and make the fat cells over a period of two to three months die, and then your body naturally metabolizes them and moves them away. And with one treatment, we see on average about a 22 to 23 percent reduction in the amount of fat. Now, this isn't a treatment for obesity. It's not a weight loss device, but in combination with good diet and good exercise, it's really an exciting procedure. Let me make this real, real clear, because your liposuction, you take a machine in there and you suck out the, the fat. This works a little differently, and this animation, I think, will show you how it functions. If, if you actually look at a panis of fat, let's take around the belly, you grab it with this device, and when you do that, you actually are able to pull the skin up and then expose it to a lot of cold. I mean, real cold stuff. And when you get into that cold area, when you freeze the fat, because the fat preferentially gets cold before the skin does, you actually will turn on systems that kill those fat cells. When they commit suicide and die off, then your immune system comes over it, and the immune cells grab these cells that are dead, the, 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 the fat cells, and takes them away. Now, you still have some fat cells left there, but over time, you'll shrink the total amount of fat that you have, and thus see the shrinkage that we're talking about. Thank you very much, Dr. Abram.